Pete Werther. It's an honor to have you here on the Rolling Stone couch. How does it feel? It's a great honor for me, and it's up the creek, and it's the vibes are all good. Eh? So I'm going to dive in with some slightly tricky questions, if I can. You've changed the way you release your music, and the different record labels you've got, and how you put all of that, the hard money side of music. You've changed that quite a few times. How is it working for you now? I figured the way now we've got a distribution deal with uh, Select, uh, but you do, in this day it's weird, you sell more albums on the gigs. So the thing is you have to keep touring. And people like that personal thing. It's a pity that the music industry has become what it has become. Um, I think radio is to blame a lot for that, you know, unfortunately. Um, radio has become just a, you know, a monopoly of mediocrity. Uh, so it's a battle, yeah, but okay, we we keep surviving, you know. When you're running four or five different albums still at the gigs at any given time, I guess that's pretty cool. One of the albums you released was called The Pilgrim. And I know from knowing you over the years that you are a pilgrim. You're a man who's on the road with the guitar, taking the music to people in very, very far away places. What is it that keeps you going, gets you back on the road, back in the minivan again, taking the music to some tiny town that needs to hear it? You know, it's the beauty of the music. And when you are fortunate to have good musicians playing with you, that energy, that beauty, then that's, uh, that's something you can't ever buy in a, in a mall, you know. But especially the more musicians, the better for me. I've been so fortunate to be able to play with all these wonderful and young musicians, you know. And their energy, and when you combine it, and then this beautiful thing happens, you know. From Wildebeest, through to Jackhammer, through to Pete Puerto Afrikaans albums, through to Jackhammer again, Pete Puerto solo albums, Pete Puerto tribute albums. Music, is it a blessing or a curse? That even, that is a serious question. I. Um, no, it's a blessing all the way. Sometimes one can be, can get dangerous, you know. Uh, one has to practice every day, you know. Stay out of the bars and so forth. And then, you know, no, it's a blessing because what always bothers me is that it seems that some people never hear the beauty of it, you know, it's like we can't cross that bridge and that's sad to me, you know, but those that do cross that bridge are the most wonderful people in the world, these rock and roll children, they're, they're like a breed, you know, a tribe, you know, it's, I hope for that, you know, my kids too, you know, the rock and roll children is fantastic. You know, they love the music. You know. It moves them. Last question. 2012 for Pete Puerto. What does it hold? We've done this amazing album myself with the Akadis band, you know, and now we call it The Lizard Kings. Of course, after the Jim Morrison poem. And we've made this. It's right off the bat, this album. We went to Gordon's by recording with Alex Power, you know? Just by everything true, no overdub, no technology, you know? And we got 10 beautiful songs, so I'm very happy about that. So we got The Lizard Kings, the, it's like time and the tide has thrown us together, you know? So I'm going to roll with that for a while, for a couple of years, I guess, and, and see where it goes from there, you know. 
been very fortunate to be able to play music this long. I said that was the last question, but I'm throwing in an extra one. There's this veteran, Pete Werther, and it seems like he just chews up a whole lot of these younger musicians. He gets a support band, they can't take the pace, they can't handle being on the road, they have other commitments, various other things come in the way. What is this thing that keeps you just going and you got to keep on getting new musicians in and training a new backing band? And of course, it's wonderful you get new musicians to play with, but at the same time, you know, you've got to train up new guys to be there with you. I don't think it's that, uh, you know, the system is very cruel and it's very hard sometimes to, to be able to play a really good band or to keep them alive. So you have to roll with the outlaws to say like that eventually when you team up with people that love the music as much as you do because you know with things like money is not a question you know uh, I know it sounds like a hippie but it's not where the music is the thing and that's the only thing so the money will come it doesn't come today or come sometime somewhere you know but you don't have to it's not a business it's not a system thing you know about dollars and cents it's to go for the it's like working in a gold mine you know go for the gold and when you meet people that share that common interest and you know very powerful force you know any powerful thing to defy everything.